Hello there YouTube, welcome back. We've got two more tapes, so we have volume 7 and 8 of the Resident Evil tape series. Now these two tapes are not as exciting as I thought they would be, however they still show some cool things and if you are an old Resident Evil fan you'll be definitely appreciating this part because it shows the game isn't going to be so casual with specific objectives and stuff like that and that you'll actually have to solve certain elements of the game yourself without you know a waypoint or an arrow directing you exactly where to go. There is going to be that user experience where they kind of just throw you in a situation and you gotta gotta deal with it. But anyway I hope you're all looking forward to the video. These two tapes are pretty cool. As always I'll be going over and analyzing them so let me know what you think in the comments below and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a subscribe it's the ultimate form of support to me so without any further delay anyway let's just get right into it As I said, these two trailers aren't the most amazing, but what we get to see here is probably more puzzle solving as well as environmental exploration and interactivity with objects. So we know that you're going to be able to prompt objects around, you're going to be able to rotate them and look at them and get a close inspection, and based on what they were doing in this video, you know, looking around the sides and the back, I think it's a reasonable guess to assume that a lot of the puzzles are going to have to be solved using this inspection tool, but I definitely think this is going to go further than people think. It's not just going to be one segment in the lantern area where you've got to cast a shadow using you know the spider statuette. I think there's going to be photos like we saw in the beginning hour demo where we had a helicopter and if you rotated the image to its back it said are they watching us on it. So yeah I hope you guys enjoy that. And with every release of this tape you really get the sense of the old Resident Evil 1 and 2 especially here and it looks like these features are going to be quite interesting and it looks like the game is going to be very puzzle heavy just like the old Resident Evil. The only question remaining is are we going to have to keep backtracking in the environment to pick up these puzzle pieces, keys and other things to reverse and continue and progress onwards. So let's get into the second tape anyway. So to anyone that has been keeping up to date with all of the trailers on my channel itself, you will know this is the same area that Mia was traversing in the lantern demo as you can see here. It's the little area she had to hide from Marguerite to pass the sequence and then continue on and solve the puzzle after Marguerite had left. We get to see a better view of the watch this time and we can see two little icons at the bottom left. Now I'm unsure what these are but I'm sure they are different from the health. It would be interesting if say for example this was some kind of stealth meter or something on the bottom left, the orange light, but who knows what these two could be. The next thing is we finally get to see Ethan's shadow properly and on top of that you can tell this is the projection room where you've got to project the shadow and as we pull the inventory up you can see three pieces but we're actually missing the spider statuette which we all know we need to progress the area. What's cool to note here though is that the three puzzle pieces are filling up quite a lot of the inventory as you can see and I've said before and I'd also like to note that say you had two large guns, a small gun and a few melees, your inventory is going to be extremely limited for these puzzle pieces Then you've got to factor in the first aid as well. So yeah you can kind of get the importance of item boxes here and how you're going to have to utilize the storage effectively as you play through the game. The first 
first image is some kind of voodoo doll and on top of that it has a piece of paper stuck to it saying you. Now I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to represent, have you been pulled here or something, who knows. But this should be setting off quite a few comments about what this particular puzzle piece is used for and what it represents. The second piece is some kind of computer chip. Now this is quite interesting as we know the Baker's residences are quite derelict, neglected and they're very primitive so I'm wondering exactly where you got this from. I'm just really not sure where to place this to be honest because the Bakers are so primitive you would have to assume you got this from some other location or the Bakers have some kind of umbrella laboratory even if it's older on the premises somewhere. Which we all are probably assuming but again it just should raise a question about where this came from. And the last item we got is some sort of balloon. I'm sure this has actually got a purpose as in a real world item but I am completely unsure what the hell this is used for and to me it just looks like a gimmicky item. But again I'm sure it actually has some practical purpose and it will be used to traverse or explore the environment more. But this one was definitely the more interesting tape of the two. The first tape was a little bit mundane compared to this and I hope this one was more exciting for you guys. I just really hope the last two tapes are something amazing. And as somebody pointed out in one of my previous videos, wouldn't it be cool as there is a little arrow next to the end of the 10 tapes if there was another 10 tapes or maybe just some more tapes to come. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. I hope it's been informative because I'm looking forward to the game so much more than ever. Now you can really, really sense the old Resident Evil vibes. It's almost as if they remade one of the original games with a new cast of characters as well as a first person view, but the entire mechanics and atmosphere really seem similar. So if you did enjoy the video guys, please leave a like and a subscribe and a comment and anyway I'm going to clock it off here. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Take it easy and peace.